Hey, somebody stop that guy! He just robbed me! Hey, Ken! A little help? Not my problem. Somebody stop that dude! Hey, kid. On the phone the whole time. You can't prove that. Hey! <laughs> Better check that out. Uncle Ben! Oh. 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 Uncle Ben! Oh. Oh. Call an ambulance! Oh. Oh. Somebody oh. help! Oh. Uncle Ben! Uncle Ben, hang on! Uncle Ben! Come on! Uncle Ben was my rock in a world where I couldn't count on anything. A world where my parents disappeared. Where a genetically modified spider bite turned me into something... new. But now, Uncle Ben was gone. For his memory. For Aunt May. To make up for not stopping his killer when I should have. I had to become a man. Spider-Man. And I've done some good put away a lot of bad guys. But I haven't found the man who killed Uncle Ben. There's one more empty space in a life full of them. The man who killed Uncle Ben is out there somewhere. And I will find him. I'll never stop looking for Uncle Ben's killer. Never. Fits the description of the guy who shot Uncle Ben. Better check it out. Hey, Larry, these guns are heavy. How about a hand? I set this gig up. That makes me the boss and you the hired help. So shut up and put some effort into it. The ringleader looks like the guy who killed Uncle Ben, but I'm not sure. I need to get some pictures of him. Let's get a good look at this guy's ugly face. Great composition. That's not who I'm after. What the? Glad I trusted my instincts. Way to kill him. <laughs> Why can't they all be like that? Yeah, you're going to pay for what you've done, Spider Man. Get me down. Come on, get me down from here. Quiet. Let me see your hands. Uh, see? Huh. It's your lucky night. You're not the guy I'm after. Unless you had a tattoo removed. No, man, no, no, no. I'm, I'm afraid of needles. And heights. So how about let me down, huh? Relax, you're fine. What? Until the webbing dissolves. But, you know, the cops will find you by then. Please, what do you want? Maybe I can help you find who you're looking for. Just, just put me on the ground, yeah? Just the jails all have the same fashion magazines. Because there sure are a lot of criminals who look like you. Uh, huh? I'm trying to find this one. Yeah, 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 I, I, I seen that guy. Oh. He sells guns to my boss, Herman Schultz. Lying will not improve my mood. Yeah, I swear, I swear, Mr. Schultz is doing a deal right now. 
I, I don't know if it's with him, but he's buying enough firepower to take out an army, man. Army? Which army? The, the Russians, man. They arm up, we arm up. Scary times, man. You, you gotta be ready for anything, you know what I'm talking about? Tell me where to find Schultz, okay? Maybe I'll upgrade your accommodations to a uh, yeah. fire hydrant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What do you say? Yeah, Sounds yeah, pretty good, yeah. huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Got a deal? Gotta head to that construction site if I'm gonna find this Herman Schultz guy. will give us a hell of an advantage. You mean us? Surrender the guns and maybe you live. Come get them, punks. How about I take the guns? I don't think you guys are qualified to use them responsibly. It's terrible. I demand to speak to your manager. Mr. Schultz, don't worry, he'll get you. This is why they never invite me to gang wars. I ruin all their fun. Ah, <coughs> oh, you must be Schultz. Your goon said you were ugly, but whoa! <laughs> he was being charitable. Think you can take me, huh, freak? <laughs> well, I'm not gonna make it easy for you. Oh, come on, all your friends did. You just buy yourself a ticket to hell! Oh no, I'm so scared! <laughs> Not, yoink! You're gonna pay for that bug! No, I hear jail's a lot nicer now. you, man. Look, don't kill me like the others. We can make a deal. Others? Yeah, I've got money. Guns. Just tell me what you need, huh? I hear you do business with this guy. Uh, sure. What do you want to know? Who's the man in the picture, huh? Uh, 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 Carradine. I don't know if that's his real name, huh? He sells guns without those annoying background checks. Where do you meet him? I mean, it's different each time. You put the word out you want to make a deal, he calls. Always on a disposable cell phone. He's a real paranoid fella, you know? Yeah, I... He must have a guilty conscience. I, uh, uh, come on, we got a deal? Huh? <laughs> the tattoo. What does it mean? Uh, it's a gang thing. <laughs> there aren't any gangs using that symbol. We, only a few people have it. It means he's a specialist. A guy who can get you anything you want for the right price. And he'll kill anyone who gets in his way, huh? Yeah. I already knew that. Why can't you and the Russians play nice? Huh? Are you kidding? After what they've been doing to our people, then my guys feel like uh, they have to escalate. You know, it's bad for business. But, but, but what are you gonna do, huh? <laughs> Stop it, and you're gonna tell me how. I I'm not sure you can. You ask me, it's gonna get a lot worse before it gets better, huh? You want the guy in the picture, huh? Look for a gun dealer in Alphabet City. Okay, he goes by Carradine. Uh, I think I got his latest number here in my phone. Wait, don't! <laughs> Stupid! I was so desperate for answers, I let him play me like an amateur! <sighs> what do you want with guns? I thought you went to arson. Yeah, but these days everyone's strapped. 
You can't sit a peaceful fire no more without some punk from another crew taking a shot at you. All right, I got you covered. Swing by the alley behind Jazzy Johnny's nightclub. It ain't cash only. <sighs> that could be Carradine. Time for old Spidey to go clubbing. Oops, oops, oops. That's not Carradine. But whoever he is, I can't let him put more guns on the street. The spider! Let's not fight. Ah, never mind. Let's fight. I'm sorry. That webbing in your way. Man, chase us or let those people burn. <laughs> Ooh, I've been looking for this. Much obliged, Spidey. Anytime, Stan. Hey, how'd you like me to call the Daily Bugle <laughs> and tell them that Jameson is full of it? <laughs> I'm not gonna stop you. So long. <sighs> I should head over to the comic stand and check in on Stan. Hey, Stan. Oh, welcome back, true believer. Gosh, I haven't seen you in the store since. I can't say it enough. I am so sorry about your Uncle Ben. Oh, he was a good man. He was the best. Thanks. Thanks. I was just remembering how we used to come in together. After the mess I made house-sitting for you, I felt kind of bad. Oh, water under the bridge. Hey, can't I get you anything? Some Merry Marvel mayhem to get the old pulse pounding? Nah, I was just passing by, but I'll come back. Well, enough said. Anytime you need inspiration, I'll be right here. So I says to him, one meat lovers. Okay, in what world does meat lovers mean mushrooms? Yeah, way, and I'm like, nah, uh and she's all like, yaha, it's so true. This is Carradine. What do you need? Firepower, man. It's getting crazy out there, you know what I'm saying? We need some serious boomstick, and they say you're the guy that can make that happen. Alley behind Nuno's bar, two hours. You gonna count that? I thought we had trust. Hey, you're funny. Hey, what's that? Stop! Come on! Move over! Hostage. Not good. No way am I letting you kill anyone else. I swear I will kill the both of you! I know, Uncle Ben. Hostage comes oh. first.
You okay? Just shaking up. Get that psycho! Gotta catch up to Carradine. I promise, Uncle Ben. I promise he won't get away this time. Can't have gotten far. Huh? <sighs> My God. Nine one one, what is your emergency? I need to report a dead body. Just the image I wanted. If I get spotted, this is gonna get ugly. Gotta move faster. Aunt May's gonna hear about this sooner or later. And I don't want her to be alone when she does. The guy who killed Uncle Ben is gone. You'd think that would bring me some peace. But I don't feel peaceful. Not even close. Police confirmed tonight that there's a serial killer on the loose. One with a unique twist. He hunts other killers. His latest victim is Dennis Carradine, a convicted murderer and arms dealer. Carradine has been identified as the perpetrator in last year's shooting of Queens resident Benjamin Parker. Some New Yorkers we spoke to applaud the fact that violent criminals are being taken off the streets. Hey, somebody wants to clean up the trash. I say more power to them. But police caution that the perpetrator is a threat to everyone. This individual is a dangerous psychopath. He commits acts of extreme carnage and brutality, leaving the initials CK written in blood as a signature. The crime scenes are so gruesome, they shock even veteran officers. Due to the letters and the horrific nature of the crimes, authorities are calling this man the Carnage Killer. Anyone with information should call the police immediately. This is Whitney Chang for the Daily Bugle News Network. Horrible. But at least it's finally over. The man who took Ben from us won't ever hurt anyone again. Maybe now we can move on. Peter? W what's the matter? So, you feel better? My husband's still gone. I think that'll hurt forever. You said you thought maybe we could move on. Yes, uh, now that there isn't that question hanging over us. Where is he? Why don't they catch him? Now we can look ahead. But it's not like being happy. <sighs> we'll be happy again, Peter. I promise you. Aunt May, the truth is, I'm glad he's dead. I know that's wrong. You're relieved a bad man can't hurt anyone else. That's different. You're glad a murderer was brought to justice. There's nothing wrong with that. I know. It's just, I... Part of you wishes you're the one who did the bringing to justice? Yeah. <laughs> that's not what Ben would have wanted. He wanted you to work hard, graduate, go to college, all the things you did. Wherever he is, he's very proud of you, and so am I. I wish for bad things to happen to this Carradine guy. A lot. That's perfectly natural. He killed your uncle. Yeah, but... Peter Parker, it's bad enough you feel guilty about Ben. I, I won't let you beat yourself up over this. Why would it be your fault? Did you kill that man? No. He was a criminal. He associated with awful people. It's not as if you had any control over that. What, what could you have done? 
You heard Whitney Chang. Some people are grateful to the Carnage Killer. I kinda know how they feel. That's not the same as condoning it. You're not glad this Carnage person is out there murdering, are you? You want him taken off the streets, don't you? Yes. Yeah, I do. And he will be. Uh, Aunt May, can you turn that up? We have breaking news of a hostage situation at Oscorp. Armed men are holding several employees at gunpoint. Oh, no. Security camera footage has identified the ringleader as career criminal Herman Schultz. Schultz? What? Uh, Gwen. She still interns at Oscorp. At the office this late? No, but I should make sure. Oh, that's a good idea. I always thought you two never should have split up. Um, don't wait up for me. I always do. It's my fault Schultz got away. If he hurts anyone... No, not this time. Expecting Schultz's guys. Some days you just got it. Gotta move that rubble so I can get in. Better clear all this wreckage. the vents are going to take me. What's your name? Max. Max Dillon. Okay, Max. Easy choice. Tell us where to find the weapons, or you uh, die. I'm an electrical engineer. I don't have access to those areas. Then it's a bad day to be you, eh, Max? Unconscious uh, bad guy. Was I in the zone or what? I might keep talking about a weapon. I bet my last web Schultz is heading for the special projects division. You're Mr. Spider-Man. Just Spider-Man. Mr. Spider-Man was my father. What's your name? Uh, Max. Max Dillon. I'm in R&D. Well, Max, I need you to help me out. Be my eyes and ears. Can you do that? Really? I mean, yes! I won't let you down. Good. Get the hostages out through stairwell C. It's all clear. I really appreciate the help, partner. Partner? Damage the power core, it's overloading. Then what? The lights go out? This building's powered by an experimental fission reactor. If it explodes, we all die. Great. Where is it? With the blast door shut, there's only one way to reach it. These conveyors are bringing containers of extra coolant to the core. You can stick to things, right? Oh, sure. The guy who sticks to things always gets the dangerous jobs. The only sure way to stop a meltdown is manually opening all the coolant flows. I'll try to explain. It's okay. I'm handy with stuff like this. And try to get outside if you can. a great big hole in the middle of Manhattan. Now I need to find the coolant systems. <laughs> this is it. I can 
can release the coolant from here. Dangerous enough already. I can't let them have any of Oscorp's weapons. The only way this works is if I stay out of sight. Okay, the judges are just in my head. Options in life? A shake for breakfast, a shake for lunch, and a sensible smack upside the head for dinner. I, you can't lock me up, man. The, the Russians can get to me inside. You might be able to make a deal with D.A. Harper for protective uh, custody. If you help stop this gang war. Innocent people are getting caught up in it. I can't! It's bigger than me now. All the gangs in the city are at war. Everyone's scared of everyone else. So, you broke in here for a power-up? Absolutely. Guns won't do it anymore. Everybody wants an ace that the others don't have. The kind of firepower that you can fight an army with. And I bet they don't care who gets caught in a crossfire. That's why they call them bad guys. What are all you tough guys so afraid of? The Carnage Killer! He's murdering my people, huh? The, 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 the Russians? Hammerhead's crew? Mr. Negative's men? Uh, everyone thinks the other guys are paying him. I'm starting to worry he's some kind of freak. Like that giant lizard a while back, or that dude with all the, the, the robots. So, uh, as long as he's out there killing, the gang war goes on? And it gets worse! The Russians got here at almost the same time you did. I know. One of my guys must have dropped a dime. Now that your future looks... Let's go with Limited. What'll they do? Keep arming up. Take out what's left of my men and everybody else in town. <laughs> they're ruthless. I promise you. By the time they're done, you'll wish you had Herman Schultz back. <sighs> Unless you want to go for a butt-whipping hat trick, you'll tell the cops everything you know about the gang war. Okay, but it won't do any good. Look, the city's full of trigger-happy wise guys, scared the Carnage Killer's gonna get them. That's one fire that's just gonna keep on spreading, huh? Huh. 
You know, as much as I made fun of these things, they're pretty clever. If I could get this kind of kinetic energy into my webbing... Now who's the thief, huh? <laughs> you know Oscorp, but you might not know me. I'm Harry Osborne. And when my father died, he didn't just leave me a business. He left me a New York institution. But too often lately, both Oscorp and this city have been preyed on by criminals. Now today, I'm announcing a joint venture with a man who, like me, recently returned to the city where he was born and wants to help. Wilson Fisk. New York made me the man I am. Now, I want to give something back. It was my privilege to rebuild this great city after recent crises, but that was just the start. Allow me to introduce you to the Enhanced Prime Task Force. Now the police are doing a fine job with limited resources, but when they face threats outside their normal scope, they need more, and we have to fight Rather than increase the burden on taxpayers, Mr. Fisk and I are financing this hand-picked task force ourselves. Vigilantes like Spider-Man only make the problem worse. This is our city, and we're taking it back together. Still willing to take Oscorp off your hands, young man. And my answer is still no. Well, that's fine. I'll just wait until you die of the disease that killed your father. Attention all task force personnel. You are authorized to begin phase one of the suppression initiative. Repeat, phase one of the suppression initiative is a go. Now's a good time to take down some bad guys, while the task force is putting heat on them. Business owner reports suspects disturbing the peace in his parking lot. Last chance. Cough it up or you get... Just a kid, ain't you? You want me to let you go? Raise your hand. No? Okay. I almost died just then. Oh, uh, boredom. Spider-Man showed once again that no crime is too small to escape his notice. Within a matter of moments, the car had been stopped and the perpetrators were in custody. Car 42, we have reports of fighting, possibly gang-related, in Central Park, southwest corner. Can you check it out? Dispatch said it was the southwest corner of the park. I should be first on the scene. Huh, just a few blocks, as the spider swings. 
This is Whitney Chang with an editorial comment. Early polls on the Osborne Fisk announcement show broad public support. Citizens are tired of the crime wave and have doubts about the mysterious figure known as Spider-Man, despite all the good he's done. So what else is new? But I've obtained the records of the officers on the task force. They show allegations of corruption and police brutality. None of it proven, but still. Spider-Man, I'm out of here! Want to trust with this kind of power? Kill him! Oh, I know what's bothering you. You think because I took down Herman Schultz, it means I like him more. That's just not true. You'll get the same up-close, personal attention. I promise. Booyah! Now to find the one that got away. Hey, wrapping up bad guys is my thing. What the? I can help you? Okay, Mr. Craven the Hunter. You got my attention. We have shots fired at the bus station. Proceed with caution. Suspects heavily armed. That is the last... Inexperienced. I was experienced enough to beat your friends. I am Russian, but I am no friend to those pigs. My name is Sergei Kravenov. Men call me Craven the Hunter. So you left me that note. Huh. Judging from the web, you're one of those crazy reality show guys who runs around naked in the woods eating bugs. How can you help me? I can make you a true hunter, not just a boy pretending to be a man. Should you wish to accept, you may find me here. Until we meet again. Parker, why didn't you get me pictures from the Fisk Osborne press conference? Oh, sorry, Mr. Jameson, but I've got school. You know, life outside the job. In my day, your job was your life. A press pass is wasted on you. Actually, I just got an idea for using my press pass. I've got to admit, it would be nice not to feel like I'm fighting this battle on my own. But is Craven someone I can trust? Craven obviously doesn't know who I really am. Would have come to my house. I don't know. I've always worked best alone. But then again, I've never tried it any other way. If Craven can teach me his hunting techniques, I won't have to rely on police broadcasts to find bad guys. <sighs> okay. Don't be nervous. You need information on Craven, and you've got a press pass to get it with. <laughs> Easy peasy. Never mind that if he finds out you're a photographer and not a reporter, he'll have you stuffed and mounted. Mr. Kravenoff? It's me, Peter Parker, from the Daily Bugle? We, we spoke on the phone? 
The, the door was open! Uh, Mr. Kravenoff? <laughs> oh, I apologize for startling you. I am Craven. Please forgive my theatrics. <laughs> I merely wish to demonstrate my skills. The videos online do that pretty well. I saw you take down that Siberian tiger with your bare hands, without hurting it. Tigers are endangered. I simply relocated the beast for its own safety, as well as that of the local villagers. True hunters wish to conserve the natural world. It is where we find peace. You're a long way from the natural world. I craved a new challenge. I came here to hunt the monsters Oscorp created. The cross species. The deadliest combination of animal and human. I ended their threat. But I grew fond of your city. And your city grew fond of me. <laughs> and I decided to stay. Except now you're hunting normal people. No! Only criminals. Only those who prey on their fellow man have anything to fear from me. Based on my experience, uh, research, the police aren't big fans of vigilantes. The police had their chance to stop the crime wave. They failed miserably. I, uh, don't think they like being reminded of that. I do not wish to insult them. But it would be a far greater crime to have the power to help, but to refuse to act. Would you not agree? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I would. This new task force is sending a pretty strong message. No vigilantes. Ah, I do not trust them. They are paid for by Fisk. I am sure you've heard the rumors of his illegal activities. Sure, everyone has. But no one can prove it. And the police seem okay with him. Because he has paid those who are corrupt. The rest are desperate to avoid looking incompetent. Well, the public is desperate for an end to the crime wave. I have only one agenda. To get results. Is man really the most dangerous game? In their own way, yes. But men are merely highly evolved animals. The current crime wave provides fascinating opportunities to study them. The patterns of the various factions. And what are you finding out? That criminals are not unlike beasts. They have hunting grounds, specific behaviors. Many travel in packs, but there are differences. Such as? Animals prey on others for survival. Only human beings are willfully cruel. Hmm. So you're saying you feel a responsibility to use your power to help? Yes. To have such power and not use it is to be unworthy of it. Uh, well, thanks. I, I think our readers will find this very interesting. Good, good. I must take this call, but please, look around. Take pictures of anything you wish. Yes? No, I said tranquilizer darts. No, I have no interest in automatic weapons. They require no skill. I am an artist! Whitney! Whitney? Should I be jealous? Who is this? 
even me. Uh, Felicia, this is the number I gave Whitney Chang. How'd you get it? The name's Black Cat, as in Cat Burglar. As in I get my hands on things I'm not supposed to. How about you, Spider? Do you ever get your hands on things you're not supposed to? I heard you were back in jail. Listen, if you're calling to tease me about breaking out... I'm insulted. I can think of a lot more fun things to tease you about. If you're smart, you'll get out of town before I find the time to chase you. Funny. That's what I was going to say to you. Things are getting dangerous around here, Spider. Why don't we chase each other out of town, hmm? I'm too busy to fool around with you. I, I mean, play games with you. Bye, Felicia. Find out if Craven can really teach me how to track these punks. I knew you would come. Yeah, well, don't get any ideas about me being your sidekick. But I'm on the trail of the Carnage Killer, and tracking's a little out of my wheelhouse. Ah, yes, the killer. I thought he might be you. But I have watched you, and I see that you are no madman. You spied on me? Only briefly. There is much a hunter can learn from observation. I see. In the way you carry yourself like a lost child. That you lack someone to guide you. To help you become a man. I have no son of my own. I do not want my legacy to die with me. I can make you the ultimate hunter. Let us work together to... to find this carnage killer and suppress the crime wave. Let us do together what we could not do alone. I'm still gonna operate on my own. Of course, as will I. But we will be there for each other when it is needed. You an address. There is a back alley from which the Russians move stolen Oscorp equipment to a safe house. Use the little fish to catch the big ones. Yeah, I've heard that before. <laughs> I get that, but I'm not gonna let anyone get hurt. If I see these guys threatening someone's life, they're going down. Illegal money is usually paid in cash. If you follow low-level criminals as they drop off their earnings, they will lead you to the next run of the ladder. You are doing well. Now listen. Higher-level criminals prefer to keep a low profile. But just as animals must visit a watering hole, they must collect their money and pay those above them. I'll give them this. The way these guys hustle all over the city, they're getting one heck of a cardio workout. Often the higher level criminals will lead you to legitimate businesses that serve as a front to launder the illegal income. It is here you will find their bosses who pretend at respectability. I have to admit, Craven. All this is leading me to the big fish and... Stop wasting time and prepare the package! Gotta get a photo of that crate of Oscorp tech, so I can trace it. is heavier than your mother! If you drop that, I'm not taking the blame for you! Quick, get the crate loaded before someone sees us!
Couldn't ask for a better picture. That Oscorp's tech will go to their superiors. Do not lose sight of it. I'll stick to it like, well, me. Craven's tips are paying off. I get the feeling there are a lot of bad guys in there. I better keep a low profile. I'm guessing this isn't a restaurant guide. The Carnage Killer. These must be all the places where he killed these guys' friends. A lot more than the police know about. I know what Craven would say. Clearer picture of the Predator's hunting grounds. Equipment like this. Hmm. Harry won't mind if I borrow this for a little while. You'll be dead before you see me move. <sighs> Better go see what that was. that fast. They say bad guys don't cook. Okay, lady, how much coffee did you drink? in the zone! I'm gonna guess this was not a meeting of the Wilson Fisk fan club. Craven, I'm sending you pictures. The first one looks like a map of places the Carnage Killer struck. Ah, yes. Good. Good. The more we can learn of his habits, the better. Next up is a flyer for an anti-crime fundraiser hosted by Wilson Fisk. I think they're gonna try and kill him there. Even if Fisk is crooked, I can't let them do that. Especially with all those innocent people around. The fundraiser is tonight. They will have put their plan into action already. You must go to the location and stop them. Just one problem. I don't have an invitation. And I'm guessing you don't either. Then we must improvise. I am too well known to bypass security. But under your mask, Spider-Man, Nobody knows who you are. Here's a hint. I'm not rich enough to go to this. Then you will find a way. I believe in you. <sighs> Wouldn't mind chatting with Fisk. See what he knows about all this. But I kind of have a feeling he's not the most approachable guy in the world. None of it matters if I can't get inside. Wait, I think I've got it. With that fundraiser's level of security, I can't use my press pass to bluff my way in. Unless I'm really supposed to be there. But a photographer needs a reporter. And I bet I know one who's already planning to go. Doorbell. Guess I better get creative. <clears throat> Please. 
Please, what do you want? From you, nothing. We just need your waiter uniform, so we can serve Fisk a special recipe. What are you gonna do with us? <laughs> Depends how much you bother me. Smashing. Thank you, indeed. You won't get me so easily, Spider! might just have a future at this. Well, I saved Fisk from the Russians. Now to find out if I have to save anyone else from him. That map I found showed a lot of Russian mob activity around a trucking company. Seems like the perfect cover for bringing weapons into the city. Today only. Order a truckload of weapons, get one Spider-Man at no extra charge. Quick, before those task force idiots see us. Relax. We set a car on fire ten blocks away. They're distracted by that. I haven't done this kind of heavy lifting in years. Uh, me neither. But there's a reason we've lasted this long. Not many of our soldiers even know about this place. Yeah, here. Uh, I guess everyone's a big shot. Uh, Is it true what they say about the killer? Is he one of the cross species? I heard he is just a man. If that's true, Jack the Ripper was just a man. I am telling you, there is something demonic about anyone who could do that to a human being. Did that hurt? Oh wait, I just remembered, I don't care. Still right. Leave them out where anything could happen. I'm telling you, he's right where we left him. Your men are panicking like children. I believe you. Just show me so I can tell them I saw it with my own eyes. Better yet, take a picture with your phone. You can show them yourself. We've bitten him senseless. <laughs> I like my weapons like I like my chocolate, melted and in tiny little pieces. Please, I keep telling you, I'm not who you think I sell advertising. Then why did someone break in here to save you, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Makes sense now, eh? <laughs> A weakling like you could never kill our men alone! Tell us who you're working with! Talk! Uh, uh, nobody! Oh, please! Please, nobody! Uh. That 
guy's no killer. It's not that you're bad at your job. No. If I was working with the Carnage Killer, you'd be dead right now. Be glad you were wrong. These guys seem to think you killed a bunch of their friends. It's not true. It's not true. I, I was going to my car, and I saw someone attack one of these Russian guys. He's the killer, not me. How'd you end up here? I, I yelled. Then the killer ran. I went to see if I could help the victim. Then his friend showed up. My hands were bloody. But they wouldn't believe that I didn't do it. This man you say was the real killer. What does he look like? White. Uh, red hair, skinny, wild eyes, the strength of a madman, not the kind of madman I work with. Your license says you live in Jersey. If you can prove you weren't in the city when the Carnage Killer struck, I'll let you go. No problem. I was in San Diego all last week, at a convention. That's the ambulance I called. You'll be okay now. Craven, I've got a description of the Carnage Killer. Excellent. I've used the map you provided to identify his hunting grounds. You think he'll be out tonight? A true predator never stops the hunt, my friend. Meet me at the location I am sending you. That's him! Wait. You can only truly know your prey by watching him stalk his own. Oh, please, dude. I didn't have anything to do with that drive-by. I was just a wheelman. Wheelman? Who saw all those people die? Yeah. Oh, you admit it? Good. Now you're going to tell me all about it. Then you're going to give me answers. <laughs> The spider. I'm a big fan of the look, but your execution? Boring. You know, real spiders liquefy their prey from the inside. You should think about it. And you're the carnage killer. Why'd you do it? I get having a grudge against criminals, but- Not criminals. Killers. No one knows death better. What do they see when they feel her cold arms wrap around them? What special insights do they have? <laughs> There's so much to learn. You're crazy. And you're welcome. For what? Doing what you want to, but can't. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll show you. I could teach you how to be a real predator. The spider you're just pretending to be. Take off your mask, Spider-Man. I need to see your eyes when you die. I know the truth. In your darkest moments, you wish you were strong enough to be like me. Admit it. Give in to it. It could be worse. I could be mucus, man. That's it. Go ahead. Kill me. You know you want to. No, I don't kill. <laughs> I told him you'd never be like me. This is so much fun. Thanks for the help. You chose to disregard my advice. So, I assumed you preferred to handle matters yourself. What was that, anyway? You expected me to just stand there and watch him kill that guy? Or stop him. Permanently. I am trying to unleash the killer instinct in you, boy. The one you try so hard to deny. That's not who I am. And it's not who I want to be. Ever. Then... There will always be a greater predator than you. I guess we'll find out. Oh, 
<laughs> Thanks for the smooth ride. I sincerely hope I can return the courtesy by slaughtering you quickly and with minimal agony. Good day, Mr. Cassidy. My name is Donald Mencken. I want to assure you that you are a most valued guest here at Ravencroft. We're going to learn a lot from you. And I'll learn a lot from you. Answers you don't even know you have. <laughs> Eager. I like that. Well then, let's get started, shall we? Suspect known as Spider-Man. You are now free to employ extraordinary measures. Enter phase two of the suppression initiative immediately. Spider-Man, this is Whitney Chang. I get the impression the task force is just looking for an excuse to take you down. Don't give them one. Ah, so what else is new? <clears throat> All units, remain on high alert. We've got multiple gang wars breaking out over the Russians' old territories. Everybody wants a piece. It's like the Old West out there, so be careful. Dispatch, my informants keep telling me about a new figure called the Kingpin, who's moving in to fill the power vacuum. No one seems to know his real name. Could you get some information on that for me? Kingpin? <laughs> Great. That's all I need. Some new wannabe trying to build an empire. Escort units, move into position around the convoy. Keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> We're moving this evidence because too many bad guys want it. Don't expect us to let it go without a fight. I heard we're moving stuff that belonged to the hood. That occult crap totally creeps me out. Makes me feel better you're helping us. Thanks. My pleasure. The last thing any of us need is more dangerous stuff on the streets. Dispatch car 228, we checked out the Kane Museum. Nothing happening. We talked to the lady who called. She still swears she saw Spider-Man breaking in. But that place is locked up tight. No alarms have been tripped. Copy that, 228. She probably read one too many of Jameson's editorials. Kane Museum. That's not far. <sighs> Might as well check it out. My reputation's bad enough without getting blamed for pilfering Picassos. Yo, I bet that's worth some bank. Hands off. Stick to the plan. We're waiting for the spider. You set off an alarm and bring the cops. No amount of money's gonna save you from the kingpin. You dig? <sighs> They're setting a trap for me with idiots like this? <laughs> Not gonna happen. Better take out the cameras. Or the cops will blame this all on me. Let's see what I can do before they figure out I'm here. Why did it have to be a museum? Museums are lame. I feel like I'm back in school. They had field trips in reform school? Yeah, shut your mouth and do your job. The lady says museum, we go to the museum. Lots to steal in museums. Great. I think I know who's about to cross my path. I feel like you don't respect me! Huh. 
That was fun. Should I have served my time like a good little girl? Get out when I'm old and wrinkly? I don't think so. You're saying the Kingpin got you out of jail? How much power does this guy have? That's what it's all about, isn't it? Power. His, yours, and mine. <laughs> Are you deliberately moving really slowly? Is this like some sort of mime thing? Going to all this trouble for little old me. You must really care. <laughs> And I like to watch. Did your mom tell you you could be anything you want? Because she was wrong. <laughs> Neither of us wants this, but it has to happen. <laughs> uh, I know I'm playing hard to get, but I'm worth it. Must you always make things so hard? I learned a valuable lesson today. <laughs> Feel bad? This one time I fought somebody who was a real loser, and they were still better than you. Now you know how the other guy feels when you hide in the shadows. Heart wasn't in this, Felicia. Tell me what he did to you. I was transferred to Ravencroft. The Kingpin came to see me. Just to be clear, we're talking about Wilson Fisk. Yes. He said he knew I was after power and, and he could give it to me. You'd owe him. That's how it always works, isn't it? The doctors did experiments. They called it DNA crafting or crisscrossing. Cross species genetics? You've seen what can happen. Why would you do that to yourself? Boy, you are thick. I did it for you, so I'd be like you, so we could be together. But then the Kingpin ordered me to kill you, or die myself. I couldn't. I can't. Felicia, I... I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm not interested in your face, just your lips. I, I can get you help. Witness protection, a new life safe from the Kingpin. And maybe, maybe someday we can get to know each other like normal people. I don't want to be normal people. Run away with me. We'll go somewhere exotic. With our power, we can live like royalty. Adventure, excitement, romance. And that sounds terrible to you. No, but I've got responsibilities. Well, I'm not one of them. Don't worry about me. I've always done fine with a target on my back. I can't just let you go. Fisk owns too many cops. If I'm in custody, I'm as good as dead. You can't do that to me any more than I can do it to you. You ever decide you want some fun in your life? Look me up. Felicia, wait! <laughs> it all makes sense. Fisk becomes the kingpin by eliminating all his rivals with his anti-crime task force. And the public thanks him for it. He writes a few big checks and everyone looks the other way. But it's not just the task force. I've been taking his enemies down too. And the one who's been pointing me toward them is Craven. I can't let him get away with this. 
I need to know more inside information on Fisk. And I've got an old friend who can get it. <clears throat> Harry's more likely to talk to his old pal Peter Parker than some nut in a costume. Wow. Everyone knows Fisk is crooked. But you're saying he's actually setting himself up as the top crime boss in New York? That's what I've been hearing. I'm, uh, working with Whitney Chang on a story, and she needs proof. You're closer to Fisk than anyone I know. Not really. He, he keeps his business private. But, as an investor, I do have access to the task force's financial records. Oh. Okay. One of the addresses you gave me came up. Large payments to a security consultant. Fisk handles all the personnel decisions. He's the one who hired this Kravenoff guy. But he cooked the books, so technically, Oscorp's paying him. He's trying to throw me under the bus. Join the club. You okay? Yeah. It's just... I trusted someone I shouldn't have. And I probably should have seen it, but after losing my dad and Uncle Ben, I guess I wanted to believe. You wanted a father figure. I know what that's like. My dad shut me out of his life to focus on saving his own. And all he ended up leaving me was the disease that killed him. Huh? Harry, I'm sorry. What is it? It's genetic. Very rare. Degenerative. My father extended his life by spending a fortune while he looked for a cure. I don't have that kind of time. There's gotta be some hope. Gene therapy. That's what all my dad's research was about. Is that why Norman started the cross-species experiments? Yeah. He thought he could give himself the resistance some animals have to conditions like this. But the closest he ever got was the work he did on spiders with your father. But Dad disappeared. And his work went with him. Your task force. Their body armor has medical applications. Can it help at all? It's not a cure. But it can give mobility to people who can't get around on their own. The task force has helped me improve on it. And protect my research from criminals who'd steal it. But it was a mistake to work with Fisk. He, uh, he knows you're sick? He figured it out. And now he's waiting for me to die so he can take Oscorp for himself. Listen, Pete. Take it from a guy who knows. When the people you trust turn their back on you, it's just proof you have to handle your problems yourself. But sometimes, you still need help. Harry, I'll do whatever I can for you. Just tell me what- Spider-Man. No one knows for sure how he got his powers. But he looks to me like the only successful, healthy example of cross-species genetics out there. You take pictures of him. You must have some way of reaching him. Well, uh... Peter, I need Spider-Man's blood. Ah, poor Harry. I want to help him, but without the proper testing, my blood could actually make things worse. If my blood can cure Harry, I'd give it to him in a heartbeat. But it'll take time and lots of research to find out. He's in no mood to wait. I've put this off long enough. Gotta catch up to Harry and talk to him.
came. Thank you. I'll pay whatever you want. Mr. Osborne, wait. I've checked with scientists familiar with gene therapy, and I can't give you my blood. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? I'll die without it. Not right away. There's still time for more research. Every other cross-species subject has turned into a monster. I don't know why it's different from me. I'm, I'm looking into it, I've but... paid the top minds in the field to look into it. A fortune! They don't have the answers. I'm willing to take the chance. It's not just about you. The lizard, the other cross-species, they hurt people. Get out. Kill people. Just get out. I can't give you my blood until I, I know right. it's safe. I can't I trust promise. anyone. I'll find out. I'm on my own. Mr. Osborne, I... No, 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 just... just go. Harry... is really at the end of his rope. I should have noticed a long time ago, but I was busy being played for a fool by Craven. I can't believe I fell for his act. But why would he teach me his hunting techniques if he was going to betray me? Yes, that's one of the things I'll have to ask him. Craven! Time for a little mentor-mentee chat. Now discuss our mutual goals. Map out a five-year plan. Explain why you're working for a human jello mold. It looks empty. But maybe I can still find some answers. Craven's gone, but he left in a hurry. I bet there's evidence here if I look hard enough. It's all for me. He was gonna kill me and stuff me like a trophy. All this time he's been studying me, testing me, figuring out my strengths, and how to beat them. You're a fake! A coward! This is your idea of a fair hunt? Oh no. It's only the prelude. I gave you should remove all effects of the tranquilizer. I want you at the peak of your abilities. Stop acting like you're King Arthur. All that talk about honor. You lied to me. Betrayed me for the kingpin and his money. That was incidental. I did not betray you. I truly taught you all I knew. Not just so you would eliminate the Kingpin's rivals, but to make you the worthiest possible opponent. The foe I knew you would be. My greatest hunt. Now you are ready. And now we will see who is the hunter and who is the prey. So you used me to take out the Kingpin's rivals. What about Cassidy? I noticed you jumped in to stop him when he dies. Sometimes, I even impress myself. I beg you, kill me. Give me death over defeat. You're saying death isn't defeat? You planning on coming back as a craven zombie or something? Anyway, I won. That means I call the shots. What are your terms? You're a few episodes short of a season, Craven. But you've always had your own loony code of honor. So you're gonna tell me how to get to the Kingpin. The truth. Everything you know. Very well. You have won that right. Ask, and I shall answer. I ran into someone who says Kingpin gets test subjects at Ravencroft. How? The institution has lost all government funding. It now relies upon private donors. 
of which Fisk is the largest, now that Norman Osborne is dead. And they just let him experiment on inmates like some kind of Dr. Chubbenstein? <laughs> they encourage it. They view the inmates as hopelessly damaged, useful only as test subjects. I know you. You're always checking out your surroundings. You notice everything. Yes, it's true. I met with Fisk in his building, where I took note of the locations of his cameras, weapons, and accessible points of entry. He has a Telec 4566 security system, and I know the passwords. Well, you get a gold star. Draw me a map, and don't leave anything out. The information I have given you will get you inside the building, but you must still face Fisk himself. I'll distract him with cupcakes. This is why you will lose. You underestimate him. He has fought for his life since he was a boy. If you show even a moment's weakness, he will see it and kill you. The old killer instinct, huh? A lot of good it did you. I'm not sure if the cops can pin anything on you, but if not, take my advice and go back to Russia. Fisk doesn't seem as forgiving as I am. I'll tag along with those trucks and see what's so important. Thanks for all you do, Hey, Spidey! I'm not used to driving that kind of truck. Why can't Tony come? Because we're going to see the boss. And only his top guys get to know where he goes when he's not here. So shut up and do your job. I had a feeling listening in on those guys might pay off. Now to stick to their truck and let them take me right to the fat man himself. Tell him we've got the delivery. I'll watch the truck. You got it, boss. Armor in the world can't fix stupid. Spread out. Secure the area. You got it. I want a perimeter set up. All points of entry watched. I'm on it. I catch anyone slacking off, they'll end up padding my arrest stats. Understood, sir. <laughs> Maintain radio contact. Check in every five minutes. I'll spread the word. The boss wants everyone working double shifts. I tell the boys. Task Force Cops, working with crooks. No more games, Buffalo Butt. Just you and me. What, no elevator music? This guy's cheaper than Jameson. <sighs> Smells like sweaty fat guys and burritos in here. No offense to burritos. Well, if it isn't the kingpin! Catchy name, but I have to say, you look more like a bowling ball than a pin. Or maybe a beach ball? I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, I'm impressed. You take control of crime in New York right under everybody's nose. 
The whole city knows you're crooked, and everyone still kisses your tookus. Which must take what, like a week? A lot of ground to cover, is what I'm saying. The only criminal I see is the masked man guilty of breaking and entering into my private building. A violent vigilante. The Daily Bugle has branded a menace. Fine. Play it like that. But one way or another, you're going down. <laughs> and now you've threatened me. I dare say Jonah Jameson will praise me as a hero after I kill you. In self-defense, of course. You set Cletus Cassidy loose on the city. Not just to wipe out your rivals, but to scare people. To make things so bad, when you took over, it'd look like you fixed it. If then who else is gonna fix it? Huh? You? Running around in a costume, acting out some adolescent power fantasy. You're so bad, you go camping, the bears hide their food. <laughs> I'm not a fool, Spider-Man. I've admitted no wrongdoing, broken no laws. There is no evidence against me. I have proof you paid Craven. No, my task force did. As a security consultant. I am shocked and horrified to hear he's done anything improper. If indeed he has. He was hired for his legendary skills, and, and a strong code of conduct that would never allow him to betray a client. Craven might not give you up, but Cassidy will. <laughs> a lunatic like that? Oh, come now. His word can hardly be believed. And besides, a man would have to be a, a fool to deal with someone of his ilk directly. I assure you, I am no fool. I'm afraid, Spider-Man, that you are the only criminal here. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. This is not an action film, boy. Just because you're young does not mean you can hack my security and gain access to my personal... How are you doing that? Huh. Now who's underestimated who? Stop that! I demand you stop! All units. Max Dillon has escaped custody and is at large in Sector 4. What did you do? I have no idea what you mean. Thank you for showing me my areas of vulnerability. I assure you, they will be gone when you return. familiar about you. Max Dillon? You don't even remember. You said I was your eyes and ears. <laughs> said we were partners. I remember now. I did say that, and I meant it. Liar! You abandoned me! Left me in that place. Let them hurt me. All alone in the dark. Max, I don't know what happened to you. You 
see you're in pain, but I can't help you unless you let me. You don't care. I'm... Everywhere, Max. I'm sorry for what they did to you, but that doesn't give you an excuse to be one of them. <laughs> At first, I felt kind of bad for you. Now, not so much. I feel sorry for the guy. He was a victim. And if what he said about Ravencroft is true, I've got to shut that place down. Oscorp's one of their big donors. Maybe Harry can help. Yeah. Mr. Osborne, you were right. Fisk is buying up Oscorp's stock for a hostile takeover. But as long as you're here, I'm confident we can stop it. Right. As long as I'm here. I have it, sir. Richard Parker's spider venom formula. But every time it's been used, there have been serious side effects. More serious than death? I'll take my chances. Now get out! Dr. Kafka, is that supposed to happen? No. I'll shut it down. Osborne, is that really you? Does it look like me? No. Harry Osborne's dead thanks to you. All that's left is the Goblin. You couldn't wait, could you? You tried something else. Richard Parker's spider venom. And look, I'm a new man. I warned you what could happen. I'm dying, you idiot. What else was I supposed to do? You could have let me do research. No. From now on, I take what I want, no matter who I have to kill. <laughs> I'll analyze your corpse and find out why you're stable. Then I'll do it myself. Cure the disease, but keep the power! <laughs> that was the first time anyone's called me stable. I gotta admit, you set the bar pretty low. I'm sorry for what happened to you, but I'm not gonna let you hurt anyone. Oh, you say that like you have a choice. My father failed me. You failed me. It's like I always said. You have to look out for your family. Your father has spent all his Instead of living it. Don't make the same mistake, Harry! This is crazy! You're not helping anyone doing this! Not even yourself! Bro! I'm enforcing your every move! Your bio reading! Something you'd never let me do voluntarily! And I won't be able to do when you're dead! Stuff. 
stylish bad guys are wearing this season. Kinda makes you want to go into another line of work, huh? Don't want to live like this. It's never the answer. It's the easy way out. You think it's hard for you? There are people sick, dying all over the world, some with the same disease, who don't have your money, resources. Even if you don't want to keep fighting for yourself, you owe it to them. You're going to answer for your mistakes and do whatever you can to make up for them. The greatest man I ever knew taught me that. All units, we're getting alarms from the Ravencroft Institute. Can anyone respond? Over. Dispatch, we got our hands full with the blackout and Oscorp. Cannot respond. Repeat, cannot respond. Huh. I better get over there now. There's a riot at Ravencroft. We don't have the manpower to handle it. All we could do is close the bridge, seal it off. What about the people who work there? We sent in some task force guys to evacuate. But they're having a bad time. Any chance you can lend a hand? On my way. This is a nightmare. How'd it get so bad so fast? It's like someone deliberately freed all the most dangerous inmates. This is worse than I ever imagined. Mencken, right? You work for Oscorp. I'll try not to hold that against you. What happened here? It was... Cassidy. We tried treating him with an experiment. don't! I know what you and Fisk were up to. Using these people as guinea pigs. Okay, fine, fine. But the danger's real. Cassidy changed into something horrible. Deadly. And he wants to make more like him. How do I stop Cassidy? Uh, I'm not sure you can. You'd have to overwhelm the symbiote we injected him with. Stop it from functioning. Inflict too much damage for it to handle. Uh, perhaps with fire, uh, or intense vibrations. Uh, it's all theoretical. We plan further studies, but... More? Cassidy's a loony psycho killer. When did he turn into a social butterfly? He had an abusive father, absent mother. He was always jealous of other kids with loving, stable families. So he's trying to create one? Yes. Out of the most dangerous inmates at Ravencroft. He wants to build a family in his image. What did this nutball cocktail of yours do to him? I don't fully understand it. <coughs> but like everything else, the goal was to cure the Osborns. In this case, by creating organic, intelligent life forms, uh, nanites, that rely on the body's survival for their own. Now listen to me. Any disease, any damage, they can recognize and heal, as well as protect and defend the host. <coughs> A symbiotic relationship. I'll get you outside, which is more than you deserve. But then I have to go after Cassidy. I agree. He's headed for the sub-basements, where the most damaged inmates are kept. Now, if he makes them into beings like him, no place will be safe. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm fine from here. My car's outside. Get to a hospital. Tell the police everything. Or after I'm done with Cassidy, I'll come looking for you. <sighs>
That's as far as you go. One of you is already too many. I'm not Cletus Cassidy. Not anymore. I'm my true self now. I'm Carnage! Bad guys are wearing this season. Poor little spider. You're just not ready to see the truth, are you? I didn't web up your mouth because I don't want you to suffocate. But you're starting to talk me out of it. See, you think you're joking. But I know what you won't admit to yourself. When I killed those criminals, you were happy. You were grateful to me, weren't you? No, I... It's not too late to understand. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. You say you're searching for answers in death, but what were you trying to do when I stopped you? Make others like you? A family? So we can spread the message, the truth, that chaos and death are the only- Wrong. You're trying to create a family because you never had one. You weren't looking for death, Cletus. You wanted the life you never had. Now who's not seeing the truth? You said you killed to understand death. What are you trying to understand? The meaning, the truth, the secrets it reveals about all of us that we're afraid to see. I can tell you that. Death is a part of life. It happens. Sometimes for a reason, sometimes for no reason. You're wasting your time looking for some cosmic answer in death. Life is where you find meaning. And buddy, you've wasted yours. What makes you think I'm anything like you? You wanted to do what I did. End those criminals forever. That's true. I didn't want to admit it, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel that way. I knew it. But that's human. Anger, wanting revenge. It's not wrong to feel emotions like that. It's wrong to act on them. Here's the real difference between us, Spider-Man. I'm at peace with who I am. You shouldn't be. And you should? Then why aren't you? Sorry, Cletus. I just figured out talking to a psycho killer isn't gonna give me the answers I'm after. I know what will. Death. <laughs> What's the matter, Peter? You look like you lost your last friend. Hey, but I know for a fact you've still got at least one. It's Uncle Ben. I miss him so much. I just feel... lost without him. He raised me. I loved him. And he died because he was looking for me. I'm not sure how to live with that. Let me ask you something, Pilgrim. Your Uncle Ben... He was one of the best people I ever knew. Everyone loved him. He had an amazing life, right? So, why do you want to make it all about how it ended? What counts isn't how he died, Peter. What matters is really the way he lived. I, I want you to make his life mean something. I want you to be the man he raised you to be. The man that he was so proud of when he saw what you were growing into. He told you that? All the time. Your uncle knew what a tough place the world could be. He knew that it needs heroes. And hey, take it from me. 
you are one of those heroes. So what do you say? Are you gonna go out there and prove it? I want you to do it for Uncle Ben, and for me. Yeah. Yes, Dan. I will. I miss Uncle Ben. I'll always miss him. But I don't have to replace him, because he already gave me everything I needed. Now it's up to me to honor his memory by using what he gave me, in a way that'll make him proud. Nuff said. Nuff said.
Oh, you can rely on me, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> I consider it my honor to provide any help I can. That what happened to young Osborne is tragic. But never fear. I'll continue to finance the task force myself. And, at the risk of seeming overconfident, I promise you, with the criminal organizations that plagued our city crushed, the crime rate will go down to a manageable level. Yeah, goodbye. There you are. Come in, my friend. Come in. I couldn't have done this without you. Chameleon. What happens now? Now, the real work begins.